Hi, this is Laura Rogers, and today I'm going to talk about customizing your form pages in, uh, in SharePoint using SharePoint Designer. Sometimes it becomes absolutely necessary to customize the way forms look when people fill them out on your lists and libraries in your site. So if you absolutely have to, here's how that you go about it. First of all, here's what I'm referring to. You have a new form, which is what you see when you fill out um, fill out a new list item. You have the display form, which is the one that you look at when you're just looking at a list item. You can see up here in the URL that it says what the name of the form is. And then you have the edit form, which you see when you're editing an item. So let me show you real quick in SharePoint Designer how you go about creating a custom one. You're going to navigate to your list. In this case, it's the task list. And if I want to edit um, the edit form, I'm going to make a copy of that original one. Don't mess with the original one, please. And um, and you can you know you can rename this something custom um, besides edit form copy. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and go into the form, the copy. Now we're not going to delete this uh, default web part that's in here in the uh, in the form already. We're just going to hide it, but we want to go ahead and we're going to do that last. We're going to go ahead and add the new custom form in here, but we want to make sure that we keep it within the web part zone. So I'm going to go into code view and see see the end of the web the list form web part. And then right after that is the end of the zone. So we want to put it, we want to be sure and insert um, inside that web part zone. So you're going to go and in insert, choose SharePoint controls, and choose custom list form. This is where you're going to pick which list you're putting a custom form of and which content type. So in this list, there's only one content type, which is task. And I'm doing the edit form. So this is where I pick edit item form. And then you can choose whether or not to show that standard toolbar. Click OK and let me see. Go back into Design View and now you have your own custom form. So this is where you can go in and if you, if you have to make edits, you can make, make edits here in your custom form. Um, be very careful in here and again only use this if absolutely necessary if the customer actually needs to make it look exactly a certain way so here's your custom form and you can change you know you can change what the text says here if you wanted to do that and and you can um, you know change colors and kind of rearrange things carefully rearrange things and um, the lot, a question that I get a lot, though, is how do you make this form, this new edit form, the default once you've created this custom form? Because, you know, first of all, people will go in and edit the default one, and then um, the, whole, the whole list gets hosed up. And uh, another thing is they want to know if they create a new custom one like we did here, how to make it the default. So first of all, I said I was going to go in and hide this web part, so I'm going to go into the web part properties, layout and just hide it so it won't show in the browser, and then save this page, yes. So the trick here to make this the new edit form default would be to go to properties, supporting files, and this is where we go in and say for the edit item form, this new file that we created is the one that's supposed to be the default whenever you go to edit an item. So now I'm going to go to my list and I'm going to go choose edit item. And now I'll see that this custom form that I created called edit form underscore copy one is the one that's being used to edit the item because I, you know, you can see that I changed the priority to red. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.